Hi, my name is Bob. I'm a volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club. I work in the fitness room, and part of my job is a greeter. I might show people around, help them out wherever I can, uh, make sure these, all the cleaning stuff is full, filled up, clean towels. What would you cook at the barbecue? I thought, well, this is close to where I live, and I've always had an interest in, because I have people that have developmentally handicapped, and I just think they're wonderful people, so it was easy to do. So I tutor students primarily who are interested in high school equivalency. These are students who've had challenges in the past, various types of disabilities. They have a pottery program here, not my forte. They have an art program, again, you know, that wouldn't be me either. <laughs> then they said the cooking, and I thought, yeah, that's something I could do very, very well, because I've always done it, so. I've been here going on four years. I've been volunteering just over a year. I like what I do. I like interacting with people. I love the people. They're, they're just great. <laughs> yeah. I've been retired for 15 years. It's so about six years ago, I had a, a back injury and I had emergency back surgery. And so after that, I said, I can't do the things I was doing before. I can't not, I can't, the physical things I was doing before are just so, are gone. So I said, maybe there's a time to volunteer. It's just really fun. It is, it's really fun. It, it just every time, there's a whole new dynamic each time. <laughs> so. Yeah, part of my job is to wear the machines off when I get a chance, like this. And I just sort of give them a quick wipe down. I do it because I have lots of time on my hand. I enjoy volunteering. I've volunteered for a long, long time. So I've just, if I wasn't volunteering, I would be bored probably. A retired professor, yep. Yeah. It's one-on-one, -on -one, and so you've got to design your approach to them with them and play it session by session and how they're doing. One of the positives is I get to go back and relearn some of the basics of math that I had long forgotten. <laughs> For me, that's, it becomes a learning experience as well. I went through a uh, triple bypass three years ago and I needed rehab. And I also needed to get my confidence back, which has helped me a lot. It keeps my brain going. <laughs> and that's what you want to do when you get older. <laughs> It's one thing sitting on the iPad and playing, doing magic puzzles. <laughs> it's, a, it's another thing actually helping, helping a student and designing a program for a student and working your way through it. Getting involved, giving back to the community. I like doing it. I love doing it actually because I'm interacting with people. It gets me out of my apartment. And I really think when you commit to something, you do. You need to be committed to be there because they depend on you, so. I meet a lot of people my age and they all have things that they try to do, you know, to keep their lives full. This is one possibility. If you're physically active, then there's a lot more possibilities than if you have some physical limitations. Mm -hmm. But there are still things you can do with physical limitations. So I don't have a car, so it had to be someplace that was within walking distance and just worked out. Why do you call it Everyday Hero? Why Hero? I was recently named Everyday Hero, which means a lot to me. And I'm proud of what I've done. And I'm proud of what I do, actually. I don't feel like it's anything much. Like, it's, it's very little that I do. But you yeah. know what? It's not little to the people that you help. That's yeah. the, that's the, that's But the I idea. always, I, to me, it's more selfish, because I'm, I enjoy it. To me, a hero is someone who does something spontaneously and does something with no, and totally selfless. Whereas what I'm doing is selfish in many ways. It helps me learn. I don't like, to, I don't like the word hero at all. <laughs> I've talked to so many seniors, especially in my building where I live, and a lot of them don't get involved in the community. And I keep saying to them, get out, get involved, volunteer somewhere, anywhere. Just. It makes you feel good about yourself. Like when I go home today, I feel good about myself, what I've done, what I've accomplished. Because it keeps you active and keeps you interested and keeps you going and it's a good thing to do. You know, keep your, 
keep your brain going. It's great. It's an enjoyable thing. I mean, it's it's easy. There's no no stress to it. I mean, really, you just go and you take part. You just are part of the group, actually. You know, I, that's the way I am anyway. So I've had a couple of students say, without me, they wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have happened. That's good for my morale. <laughs> I'm here twice a week for a couple of hours, and I like being here.